Hello and welcome to this Prospect 365 CRM video where we'll be looking at the CRM Sales Ledger creation. The CRM integrates multiple accounting systems. The link between the CRM and the accounting system is the Sales Ledger, which is stored on a division record. If you have already created the Sales Ledger within your accounting system, then please take a look at our Setting a Sales Ledger on a Division article. This video will focus on creating a sales ledger from the CRM using the information stored on the division record. To create a sales ledger, click within the sales ledger drop down and choose the create sales ledger option. We will then be asked to fill out information about the new sales ledger. The CRM will try to use the information available on the division record, such as telephone, fax and website, to avoid the user having to re-enter this information. In order to create a new sales ledger, you will need to choose an account to use as a template. You can either choose from your configured model accounts, such as our model one, or alternatively, you could click on the search and base it on an, a, a sales ledger that already exists within the CRM. For this option, I'm going to choose the model. We simply type in the sales ledger code here that will be used within the CRM and your account system as a reference for your new sales ledger. For example, SS002. Please note that this needs to be unique from any other sales ledger codes within the CRM. The name should be the name of the division that you're setting this new sales ledger for. As you can see, this has already been pulled through for us from the division record. The email featured here will be the main contact email address, which will appear against the sales ledger. For example, my email address. Next, we have the website section, which will be the website address for this division. Again, by default, this will be taken from the division record if it has previously been entered already. As you can see, this one hasn't. The telephone and fax contact details will be taken from the division record again, if previously entered already. Please enter if they were not included on the division record, as this will be important for your sales ledger within your accounting system. When a customer orders products from your business, then the products will be taken from the warehouse selected from this drop down. So again, make sure you are choosing the correct option from here. Here you can enter the customer's unique code, which is issued when, custom when companies are registered to pay VAT. Next is the currency. Again, just choose the appropriate currency this customer will purchase in from the drop down. For example, maybe euros. The tax codes displayed in this drop down will be imported from your accounting system. So you'll just need to choose the most suitable option. Finally, you can edit the sales editor address by clicking on edit address. It will automatically pull through the division address, but you can edit this if required. Once happy with the address, just click close. Now that we've entered all the information about our new sales ledger, click create. And then our new sales ledger will be created and will be imported into your accounting system once your imports have completed.